yeah so i mean obviously at the end of the new year um i always always like to do this where i always like to do maintenance in and teaching people how to do stuff like that so i want you guys to understand like when you know when you guys use arcade sticks you know maintenance is the number one thing it'll prolong the life of your arcade stick hey catalyst how's it going thanks appreciate it um but yeah yeah this usually what i do is um i'll show you guys um you know uh, what to do usually something simple something easy let's go ahead and take a look at that and remember always um, whenever you're doing this make sure your stick is disconnected uh, I'm not liable if uh, your stuff breaks so please uh, don't be <laughs> just use common sense if you guys are a little if you are a little shy on how to use it and how to take things apart that's fine uh, that's why I'm here uh, so if you have questions concerns let me know I'll walk you through it. Uh, I've been doing maintenance on my, my sticks for quite some time. So you guys will see um, the difference over here. It's my little stick camera. This is a little microfiber I got from Amazon. It's super easy. If What you want to do is always wipe down the area you're working at. You know, always keep it clean. This is a little big mouse pad I have over here. Today we'll be working on the Hori Alpha. I think that's what it's called. The Hori Alpha right here. So I got this and, um, you know, obviously I put my sticker on it. I always clean it. I've used it maybe once or twice uh, because I really want to install it. Now, this stick here, I will tell you guys right now that it's very thin. You can see how thin it is, right? It's very thin, very thin, right? So um, very thin. See, it's not much you can put. If you notice, there are a lot of different levers you can use that are thin as well. <clears throat> there are some sticks that won't work. For example, this is the Nobi lever right here. Uh, yes, I did remove the top of the ball top because I had a white one on there. Um, but this is the no Nobi lever. Nobi. Nobi. So you can see that the extension, it's, it's a little bit more. You can see at the bottom, it's a little bit more. Uh, maybe not a good picture, but... Uh, if you look at the camera right here, I forgot I had a bottom camera. If you look at it, it's a little bit longer right there. See this part here, it protrudes more. So what will happen is that it'll dig into the, the bottom of the stick. So when it does that, you can't even move the stick. It does happen a lot. So this is why you have to be really particular uh, when you choose the stick. Now, you know, I know I'm kind of talking about this. But there are a couple of sticks that uh, cases uh, that I recommend. You know, one of them is obviously if you get a Kwamba, Kwamba works pretty well for the most part. A Hori, and of course, here's my golden lever right here. I do have a uh, all fight sticks uh, that I actually was gonna do a special uh, uh, maintenance on as well later. Uh, it's really nice. So we're gonna exchange some buttons here. If you guys see right here, so. This is the, the beautiful, beautiful Hori Ver, uh, Alpha. It, it is a really nice stick. All right, so we're gonna do install a couple of new things on here. These are gamer fingers. These are gamer fingers. Damn, I just threw them all out there. <laughs> uh, remember, see, so there's gonna be a little difference in uh, buttons. See, here's a Sanwo, right? There's the size difference. These are the two extra Sanwos I usually have. A little flat, a little washer here. Um, here's the main difference between the two, if you notice. Um, here's the size. This is a Sanwa, right? So here's a Sanwa and here's a gamer finger. You can see focus. There you go. Perfect. Beautiful. These are any choices you decide it's up to you. It definitely is up to you. Um, they're, they're, um, these were definitely made of a higher material because they're much more thicker. Um, the plastic, I would say the material is really cool. Switches are built inside. So you have to like pull them out, just get the switches, switches hang out on the outside on the Sanwa. Okay, there is the difference between the two, right? Uh, in diameter, they're they're closely roughly the same, except that these are like more ribbed and these are flush, like, well, they'll fit right in. So you push in the snap in, of course. The one thing that, you know, if you notice this on well, it does get discolorated, uh, especially the color white after a while. You could see this is like, it looks white right now, but in the corner of your eye, if you look at it really, it's a little, it's a little yellowish now. Uh, but this is, this is, I'm just an example. This is a button I've had for maybe a couple of years now. So, uh, I, that's how long this buttons last me. 
because of the diligence of maintenance and cleaning things like that so you know those are one of the things i would tell you guys that any of your sticks you get doesn't matter what you get right uh it doesn't matter what you uh you get as long as you maintain maintenance your stick will last almost a duration of how long you own it right uh yes yes icky uh all of uh hori products for the most part all come with haibusa or hori buttons um this though i've already did the the replacement on it the, this hori this isn't a hori this is actually a sanwa so i've already replaced it with sanwa a, a sanwa stick i really like a sanwa sticks it's what i use uh it's majority of sticks you find at the arcades in japan and stuff like that uh so that's why i went with sanwa i feel like in this generation now you have to be ready you have to be ready you have to be ready you, you you definitely have to have like your options you know this is this is a this is a cardi mod this is a cardi mod from golden lever this is a wasd style uh sanwa buttons this is a hori uh stick this is really portable this is my portable like travel stick right now i just play on it or you know uh component so this is really light i really enjoy this setup as well this is something i recommend if you like using you know wasd i think it's the way of the future if you guys really really want to invest in the future uh something like this you know you know this is a hitbox of course this is like the newest the newest one this is for it works for you know for the most part on everything i always got to try to keep it clean it's very nice literally it's just a trophy now for me you know um but it is nice if you plan on using it there's a lot of different ways you can definitely use uh this type of keys um you can there's conversion for it for kwamba there's conversion for it for everything everything so don't don't you know look around before you make a decision on what you guys want to do and <clears throat> you know that's just one of the things so let's get to this yeah so these are the gravity buttons here they do come with special inserts right here these are the foam inserts they don't make it make it extra quiet right now so here they are they look like this i have them compiled everywhere i don't even know what colors to use i got purple i got blue i don't know why those colors pop for me but here they are also got black these are the ones i will be installing in my hori uh because i think it'll match very well so let's take those out all right cool so all right so we'll save those for later i'll put them off to the side Here's a golden lever, okay? If you guys, if it's your first time here taking a look at it, this is a golden lever I got uh, by Wazwa. Shout out to the Wazwa, the homie. The really cool thing about golden lever is that you can adjust it. Uh, there's an actuator in there. So basically, um, you could adjust the, the sensitivity of how uh, light and tight uh, some of these are. Here we go. The really cool thing is that um, make sure you have some tools ready. Have a nice pair of... Uh, uh, Phillips and uh, flathead usually with a magnetized tip it's really easier that way um, and then basically what you want to do is once you install this you want to make sure like how far there are spacers for this I do this via eyeball you know eyeball the sensitivity how much I have and what you want so whenever you do this you should do this after you install it but I'll do it right now um, usually my my settings for this has already been set so it's much easier um, this is like a tighter tension, so I am going to show, I'm going to open it up and I'll show you guys, um, I'm going to swap out a, I'm going to go with the lesser tension right now. Sometimes if you, if you want a, a tighter tension, you can, it's more power to you. It's your preference. Of course. Um, I can play on either or, uh, lighter tension is much easier to, you know, obviously, uh, move around, but if you want the confirmation and all that good stuff, a lot of times, a lot of people, want to uh, you know just i'm loosening the bat top by the way so the bat top has to come off right here's the bat top you can get any there's a lot of different colors if you go on golden lovers website there is uh a black this is a black and gold there's white and then um you know the what make sure that the golden washers are the size difference to the shaft right here the shaft is um it comes in different sizes okay there's a 10 millimeter 11 mil millimeter for the new ones they usually tell you which one it is so some of these here are the shaft size see they come in different colors and stuff like that so 
uh, <laughs> tools. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they come with different levers. Uh, the grommets also come in different sizes and tensions. I basic I don't have them all, but I do have most of them, right? Um, this is where I usually have most of my tools in this box right here. This is the direct cardi mod for my versus stick. It drops right in, which is really cool. Here's some more uh, tension levers right here. Uh, okay, so let me see if I can find it. I can't find it. Oh, here they are. Uh, so these are the spacers. You get one in all your golden lever stuff. So you put the spacers in the back of the stick and it you know tells you there's a little lever for it. it tells you how tight and tense you want it to be okay so let's take this you're gonna take a phillips right here phillips here or phillips just remember where how how you take off your 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 uh, plate your face plate make sure it goes back the same way you take it off because the last thing you want to do is actually turn it and it's really facing this way. Uh, you can also do that if your stick, you know, needs it to be turned sideways and whatnot. For the most part, though, you don't need to do that unless it's a special custom. I've only seen that adjustment in custom sticks. So uh, if you have a Hori or a, or a Kwamba, uh, pretty straightforward. Leave it the way it is. All right, cool. So I put those away. The faceplate comes off i usually put it right next here push it aside just like that you push it like this so this way you know like it goes back on right away okay same thing with this you want to take this off right here so i have a purple one right so just like that so i have a purple one okay so the purple one is above medium it's a little bit more tense so i'm gonna go down i'm gonna go down a little bit i was thinking well you know it was nice, but it's a little too stiff for me. So let's let's loosen it a little bit, okay? So uh, from there, there are a couple of grommets you could use, okay? Um, usually it comes with, this is the standard grommet. It's very, this is kind of loose, um, but usually you can play, play with this on a uh, ball top. You use this one for a ball top. I thought maybe it was a little too, a little too, a little too loose for me. So I want to go up a little bit, but not, you know, too much. Right. Uh, and just a reminder that every time you use grommets, they do wear out after some time. Right. Yes. The color uh, indicates the stiffness of the stick. So or the grommet of the how how fast the return is on the, the stick. So. When I say to return is like when you move it and it comes back, right? You can hear the click. Okay. If it's stiff, it's going to come back to the neutral. Sometimes like uh, if it's looser, it'll come back much slower, but you could hear, you can also hear that you could see that it's vibrating a lot. This one's stiff by the way. Um, so if it comes back smoother and easier, uh, depending on how you use the stick, it's totally up to you. So. I, that's why I always try to keep a track of, uh, you know, what to use. So blue is a normal, normal uh, grommet for sides, usually medium, right? Uh, it goes like 40, 45, 50. And I don't know if there's a 55, but I know like it goes like that. And then it goes down to 40, 35, 30, and then 20 and 25. I think that's the lowest is go. And I think the lowest is white. Right, so I have that too. The stiff is the stiffness is the most stiff one is red. So this is the white one right here. This is very uh, see it's you can see it's very flexible, easy to bend. Like I'm not even putting any any pressure onto it. Um, and then you you see the comparison. This one's a little bit more stiffer. You can see that I have to use two hands to kind of get a flexibility. See, so if I if if you if I squeeze them at the same time, right? You could see that the white one squeezed much quicker, right? It folded much quicker than the, the green one, right? And if you look at the blue one, right? This one's much stiffer, right? See, it's a little bit more stiffer. So what you're gonna do is you can actually lift this up. You wanna inspect this. Uh, there's an actuator and everything like that. Um, I'm using a golden lever actuator, so this is how it's normally done. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. You can actually go with the larger one, which looks like this. This is a uh, this is how it would be. 
like this, like this. So you can get a, a solid one. You don't need to put like a whole flat one. This one's made out of plastic. This one down here is made, it's not made out of gold, but you know, <laughs> it's, it's much stiffer. So the reason why you do that is you have a, a faster return or a slower return type of thing, right? So it's very customizable. Anyways, we'll go into a little detail with that. We're gonna install this one today, okay? Going with the blue one, we're gonna put these away right now. So I'm gonna put this right here. Um, I'm showing you guys like a little shortcut. You guys don't have to take it all apart. Unless you are planning to, it's totally up to you. Um, but just make sure you, you know, there's instructions at Golden Lever. Um, if you, you know, check them out. I think it's at uh, goldenlever.com. Uh, they have a really good PDF for you. Uh, here's the red one. This is the most stiffest one. It's like 55T or something like that. It's pretty stiff. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not all about that. <laughs> that one's too... That I just tried it. I was like, yo, this is hard. Probably MLK might like it. Uh, this is right below the blue. I think it's like this. So it'd be blue and then this color. So if I decide this is too stiff, I'll go down a little bit like that, right? And any lower, I'll go with this one and then the white one. Usually like that. Uh, without one of those, it would probably return neutral slowly. In, in general, whenever you install any of these, you'll, you'll always get a, a return depending on, you know, how you, how fast you want the return or how smooth you want it. These are usually going to be a little easier to uh, manage with. Here we go. So just remember where it goes for. Remember we left it as this. Remember it's facing here. Uh, so we're going to take this off right now. Uh, this one's a little tricky. Uh, and usually I put a little um, lubricant on here after I used it. You could see it right here. Um, if you look at, uh, let's see if we can, there it is, see. You see that 10 millimeter right there, 10 millimeter, right? So that's how big the shaft is. That's how big the shaft is. Now, depending on how big you want your shaft <laughs> to be, um, there are different sizes. The different sizes will also help you uh, go back to neutral much lighter easier faster, you know, whatever uh, have you right um, Here are the different sizes of the shaft that you see here gold lever Shaft right just like that right see this is aluminum very light this one's very light. I really like that uh, These two I believe these are 10 millimeter or 9 millimeter uh, But I, th I believe they're definitely skinnier if you compare them to each other, right? Like you could see you could see that <laughs> this is an awkward situation uh comparing shafts <laughs> well this shaft is much bigger than uh his shaft uh anyways i'm gonna leave it as is <laughs> i'm gonna leave it as is because i like the way it's already there so we're gonna remove this, this is pretty straightforward okay you guys could take this off if you want to it does make it easier uh but usually if you got you know a towel or anything most of the time if they're soft you can actually just pull these off uh, see how that you just fold them a little bit and they come off, right? But usually if you want to bend them, go forward, you want to take this off. So just to, just to make sure I do this the right way, I'm going to take it off for you guys. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So you take a flat hit right here. You see, you kind of pull the C clip out of it, right? All right, there. <laughs> you take the C-clip right here. Uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. There it is. There's the C-clip. There it is. So you take that off, right? You can take that off. It, after you loosen it that much, make sure it does, you pull it off carefully because it'll fly out usually. <laughs> you put it back in the little tab. And just remember when you remove it, just take it out the way it comes out, you know? So um, black on top of the gold. I'll leave it to the side just like that. There's a spring. There's a spring. Make sure you put that thing. You put the string, the, the spring, excuse me. Remember, uh, there's a, see, so this little, um, I forgot what this is called. I already escapes me. Um, these little things have little divots that you can put the spring in. If you make sure you pull it, install it the right way, because if you don't, you won't have that spring on the right section and you can't put a spring in and you're going to have to do everything backwards. All right, cool. So let's slide this off. See, slide this off like that. So what you want to do is uh, make sure you know where this is going to be installed, right? So 
remember the rubber is going to be exactly the same. Just remember how it's supposed to be installed. Okay, and then this is really important here. Let me get my towel. But yeah, you know, you get a nice little microfiber towel like this. Give it a nice wipe after you use it. Um, was was recommends their special. I think they're out of stock though. There's a special lubricant that they have. Um, I'm gonna use uh, a lubricant myself. Uh, see, and you clean it, it's much nicer. You could see, it, you know, how dirty it was and stuff like that. Um, maintenance on this is really important because you want to make sure that this is smooth. Smooth, it's just like, like li literally an engine, right? The more scuffed up it, it's going to get, you can see like how beat up this is because I beat the shit out of this. Um, this is not my earwax, this is lubricant right here. <laughs> it's lubricant, I, I'm going to leave it on the side here, it's on a Q-tip, you know, keep it safe and sound. Uh, that'd be really gross if it was, I'll leave it on there, you know. Alright, so, um, you're going to look inside right here. Uh, that, uh, hey bae, you can see that it's super dirty inside, right? So you could take a Q-tip and give it a good kind of like clean. You could see how dirty it gets, right? See? There you go, see? So make sure you guys get it really good. See? Clean it off. I'm done. There you go. See? Just like that. <laughs> Just like that, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So you get it really nice and clean. What's up, eh? Uh, okay, and then you can see inside here, you gotta be, it's gotta be really important. Do you see a little ring, that orange ring? Um, you gotta make sure <laughs> it stays in there, okay? Yeah, make sure it stays in there. All right, cool. Uh, all right, so let's take this off. So remember, this goes in this way. We're gonna try to fold it just like this. You'll see where it starts to spread open. Just right right here, just like this. Okay, not there. Uh, okay, so you're gonna pull it <laughs> just like this. I'm trying not to do this where I, there you go. So when you pull it, you get it out like this. Uh, and yeah, just, oh, yeah, just slide that out. Yeah. All right, cool. Boom, done. It's done. That's it. That's it. Easy, easy, easy. Take a rag just like this. Kind of run it a little bit on the side. Clean it up nicely as best you can. You can use lubricant to clean it. Um, I usually use, you can use any cleaner uh, that's safe for like uh, the plastic material and stuff like that. Um, so any other, anything like that. Um, but you know, make sure you just give it a good cleaning on the sides, okay? That's the, that that's should be okay, you know? Like it's, it's not that big of a deal. You don't have to get it like pearly white or anything. This is gonna get dirty anyways. Okay, so we're gonna install the next one. Just remember, is the reason why this was installed this way. It's gonna be. Okay. I got it. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right. So the easiest thing you want to do is you want to fold it just like this. You want to fold it like a sandwich, like a hot dog, and you push it through like that, right? And once you start to see it come through, just you know, kind of like use your finger strength, you know. Let the ladies know how good you are. Kind of give them a, give it a little stretch, you know? And then if it gets even harder, you know, there you go. And just like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes like this. Uh, and there, and yeah. The time has come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, just like that, you're done, right? Like, you're able to do that. If it gets stuck in there without the thing, you want to just pull that out. Yo, Lab Wolf. Yo, Big 27. Let's go, Lab Wolf. Hey, man. Thanks, bro. How's it going, man? Uh, anyways, shout out to Lab Wolf. Okay, so what we're going to do here, we're going to put a little lubricant now. You guys, we're going to slide it in. You can, uh, you can install it with the springs first, or you can, you know, you don't have to. This goes in like this. Just like that, right? Okay. Okay, use your 
Fixie pr uh, pry tool to move it around the rim. Yeah, that's what you do. Mm. Uh, yeah, that's a good option. I mean, any any of those options are great. Whatever you basically are accustomed to, right? So, and it, put a little bit of lubricant right here. Um, just lather it up a little bit on the end right here, right? Just a little bit. I, I like I just use the Q-tip, right? See, so you just put a little bit. Smooth it over. You know, if it's too much, flip it over. You know, kind of use clean the access off of it, and that's basically it. You know, you want to just put that on. It's very nice. Put that to the side. I just, that just fell off to the side, and then you know you can also let's see if I did this right. There you go. Spring. And then you slide those on, put the top in, drop top, chrome spinning. Uh, where is C clamp? Push it in, like just like that. If you don't have pliers, you can actually use a flat head just like this. Mm -hmm. You push it up like this. Boom, easy, see? So if you don't have pliers, I'm just saying, if you, if you don't have pliers, you can use the flat hit, so. Um, but yeah, what up, Comfortable? So just like that, it's done, right? Just remember how you put it down. This goes in. Just, you can just slide it in like that, see? And you're done. That was it. Easy, so easy. Pokemon. Just like that, put it the way you it came out, and then you got four screws. Do it like a like a tire. If you guys know how to change a tire, I know some of you don't know how to change a tire. It's fine. I can teach you that later. Daddy will teach you that. I'm gonna teach my girls how to change their tires. By the way, they're gonna learn. Keep it loose a little bit, okay? Before you completely tighten it. So there you go. So you booze around like this. You want to make sure that it's put on correctly. So once you figure it out, see, just even it out and then tighten it a little bit. You just ha just have to do hand tightening. You don't have to, don't use a drill. I would tell you guys never use a drill for unscrewing your sticks because what's going to happen is no matter what kind of drill you have, I have the Walt drill and everything. Uh, what's going to happen is that there are little uh, screws in here that will come off that's hinged because it's how tight and how powerful it is. We're gonna do the easy thing first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the stick up right here. Uh, let me see if I can get the camera right here. There's a little slide button right here, a little slide mechanism, you see that? You hear that noise, you pop it open, it's done, right? So what we're gonna do right now is, I'm gonna move this over here, just like that. It'll hook it up like that. Okay, so, so what we're gonna do first is that we got to remember the cables are going to be stuck right here. You can push them to the side. Just make sure you know where to put them. And remember the inside of the switch right here is a little different here. I'm going to show you guys why that's a little different. If you guys look, there is a prong. Here's the prong right here. This is this is to my golden level, right? How many prongs do you see in here? Uh, you might not see it. I don't know. Let me see if I can get it to zoom in a little bit. There it is. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. For the new Hori, you see there's six. So you gotta figure out, you gotta figure out, oh shoot, wait, wait, wait one of my five, does my, my stick work after the five prongs? You know, things like that. Of course it will, because you, you can see here, one, two, three, four, five on the Sanwa that I put in there, it does work. So you wanna unplug that, make sure it's not plugged into anything yet, you know? So we're gonna take four, it's four Phillips right here, one, two, three, four. But first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen the ball top. Very easy. Take your flat top, flat flip, blah, 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 blah. Your flat head, put it down the middle, twist to the left, lefty loosey, righty tighty. And you, while you're doing that, at the same time, you hold the ball and just go left and it'll loosen up. And after it gets loose, I never use snap-ins anymore, yeah. So I'm unscrewing it, you know, 
and make sure you're holding the stick as you're unscrewing it because what's going to happen is uh, the, 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 the shaft uh, cover is going to fall off and things like that. Okay, so got the ball top. Uh, the shaft is going to come flying off. It's not really flying off. Here's the shaft. Here's what it looks like. Okay. Once you have that, put that to the side somewhere. Doesn't matter. Just put it somewhere nicely so you don't lose it. Once that off, now you can go into the process of removing the Phillips right here on the side. Phillips screwdriver. Take it right there. Lefty loosey, righty tighty, same thing. It's much easier if you have a magnetic uh, Phillips screwdriver or flathead uh, because the screws will get stuck on there. It's super easy. Just like that, right? See? See? It's a great investment. Spend a couple extra dollars. Uh, your tools will last you a lifetime, just like your stick, if you obviously maintain it. Sometimes, you know, hardware will fail. That's not that's not your stick's fault. Um, it does happen. So, I mean, just like a car uh, with maintenance, it'll last a while, but sometimes, eventually, it'll die out. What's up, Wing Zero? Shut up, Wing Zero. How's it going, fam? All right, there's the four Phillips. Pretty easy. I was gonna put these somewhere. I put my, my, I'll put it on the side over here. Hopefully it doesn't fly off. And ta-da, it's off. That's it, easy, so easy. Um, you wanna go ahead and put the condom back on there. Yes, I called it a condom. Uh, it's missing the washer. Washer goes on there. Just put the ball top back on so that you could say, oh, okay, well, you know what? Use it next time, right? show you guys how to maintain that but this is pretty easy if you guys take these clips just pop these clips a little bit you can clean the inside of the sensor this i mean son the sawmill sticks are probably one of the easiest sticks to clean just like that so that comes off this is the switch the switches are right here and you want to clean this part right here right usually that's what you want to do uh, i highly recommend you do this every couple months uh, because if you use this quite often, you know, it's really nice. You just take a, like a little microfiber, clean the switch, clean this part a little bit, see, and just like that, right? If you, if you have the lubricant, you can drop a little, a couple drops of the lubricant in there, put the sensor back in, clip at the same time, and you're done. That was quick. Easy. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one, right? So this one's a little tricky, okay? Uh, I always have a muscle memory of like where to position my stick. My green here, you see my green on the switch is always facing towards upwards, north, right? So that's usually how I remember, which means uh, we would have to reposition this like this. So that comes down like this, right? Gotta make sure that all the cords are not underneath it. Uh, reposition it as clean as possible, as best as possible, right? Um, sometimes I might have to see the cord right here, you know? It's right here, so I can I can plug, sorry. I can plug it right here if I want to, push it off to the side or push it inside like this, right? Um, just make, yeah, just make sure where you're gonna put it, right? So you gotta imagine where you want it first, right? So I'm like, okay, cool, perfect. But before I install it, I just wanted to show you guys that. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take apart the sticks. Now, the buttons right here, you can see the buttons. All right, so the buttons right here, pretty straightforward. These are these are clips, clamps, however you wanna call them, they go right here. Best thing you do, if you wanna save your nails, is take a flat head. You take a flat head and you're gonna squeeze. You're gonna squeeze them gently, gently. But just remember, these are the diagram, yep, uh, for where the colors go to and what they go re represent. So what I will tell you every time, if it's your first time doing it, do them one at a time, one at a time. It makes it so much easier. Do not pop them all off at once because then you're gonna start connecting them and you might mess it up. Do them one at a time, nice and slow. It's easier that way. Save yourself some trouble because if you fuck this up, then you have to try to follow the code. You gotta make sure you test it. It's you add 20, 30, 40 more minutes into your maintenance. Uh, usually if I do this without streaming it, I'd be done in 20 minutes. This this 
yeah, you can also take a picture. It also helps, uh, like Lucho said. But honestly, this this should take like 20 minutes or less, right? An experience, maintenance, 20 minutes or less, right? Especially if you know what you're doing and you have all your stuff ready. Um, but usually, you know, you want to just loosen this up just like that. See the orange comes out, turn it. Best thing to do is to turn it in a position. You don't want to put your fingers in between another, like another stick. Just clamp it. Just turn it to the side. Squeeze. It should pop out. Push down a little pressure when you're squeezing left to right a little bit. Wiggle it a little bit and you could smooth it out and poof. Just like that. Look at the difference here. See, here's the difference. See, these are Hibusas. Very low profile. See, there they are. Here are the gravity buttons, right? So we gotta worry. You gotta worry to make sure it doesn't doesn't poke out. So we'll put the opposite aside a little bit. Pop those out. There you go. Nice and slow. Throw that in the trash. Okay. Loosen that. I'm not gonna put the silencer on here uh, because I I don't want to. Because this is going to be playing at home anyways, right? You know, go right up in here, pop it in, same way. Cool thing, like I said, about this is that uh, you just have to slide it in there. Look how easy that is, right? And you just twist it. Give it a good hand tightening. If you have, if you have the tools, cool. You know, take a you know, uh, a clamp or a plier and tighten it. But usually, it does get loose eventually if you do it by hand tightening. If you're especially mashing, but usually, you know, my hands are pretty. Pretty sturdy, you just pop that back on. It should be tense. And that's it. Wow. Easy, so easy. Look at that. Done, right? Next, let's go. Let's uh we'll save the hard ones for later. I hate doing these ones because of the cord. And if it helps, you want to unravel the cord on here. It, it does help, right? Uh if you plan on doing it right, just un unravel the cord, save yourself some time. In fact, I'll do it right now just to show you guys how easy it is, right? So just make sure you don't. And then if you have a, you know, this is a, th these are 30 millimeters. The, this is a 20. So if you have a Sanwa 20, usually you don't need to take that off. I might do it later. I, I'm not in a rush to, um, you know, swap out this. And if it is, if there's anything you can do, you do it yourself, right? It's super easy. Okay, let's go for this one right here. Remember it's yellow. Like I said, just turn it just in a, in a way. And if you can't get it, use the flathead. Just slide it in here, push, put a little pressure on it, just a little bit, not too much, and then push down. You can see that it gets pushed down. It's It'll sit a little lower past it, and then you just take the flathead again and slide it into it, and then at the same time, you wanna put a little pressure on it, and then you'll feel it sliding out, right? So in this position, both of, the, both of them are already slid out. Just make sure, there it is, easy. And then these are the little clamps, see? Okay, we'll go to the next one. Brand new, the mark of sealing. You just take that off. Whew. Smooth, 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 smooth. Slide this off. <laughs> Are those rings gonna fit? Yeah, they'll, they'll fit, they'll fit. They fit, baby. They always fit. If <laughs> The problem is if it's too loose, it's just... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, I kill myself. These dad jokes. All right, slide that in. You know, make sure it's hand tightening pretty good. So at the same time, I'm pressing. What I'm doing is I'm underneath the, the I'm underneath the stick. I'm holding it upwards. So I'm pushing forward and pushing down like this, and then I'm tightening. So that's what you can do. Yeah. Boom. So remember my green cord is always gonna be the north, so it's facing that way. Just mental mental picture for myself. So we're gonna put the screws on there. The reason why I keep them loose, right? See there it's a little loose, right? The reason why I do that is you gotta make sure that uh, if you look at this, the positioning of the hole is like at zero, basically at neutral, right? If it's like too high, too low, you gotta make sure it's just right, right? There's my ring. 
there you go so you can see that it's pretty good in the center right because you're gonna you're gonna obviously put that in there right you're gonna put that in there and then you're gonna put the bat top right so you gotta make sure it's good once you figure that out i just slide it back open again uh which is really nice here's the tricky part here we gotta make sure okay cool take the phillips i'll go ahead and tighten one side left to cross tighten just like a car like if you're putting on a brand new tire or something like that you know All right, cool. So this is the, this is going to be the tricky part. We got to figure out the the positioning of the there's six. If you count them, you can see the color of the wires right here. Um, might be a little too far, but it's in there, right? You could see it. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, what you want to do is in this case is try to do your best to match them up. The color of coating. That's why they're color coded. See, ground, power, all that good stuff, right? Five. See, so try to color code it. Boom. See, you match them. Okay. So that's what you want to do. The only difference is that you won't be able to tell what's up and down. You're going to have to figure that out once you play with the stick, right? So what you're going to do is since uh, you got black here, you're getting red on the outside. You're going to want to connect the red first, just like that. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and go. <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I know. I know. <sighs> I know. Remember I told you, if you guys were paying attention, you never plug it in the beginning. You always plug it in after. Okay? If you were paying attention, you wouldn't have got shook. All right? <laughs> never plug it in early, okay? Okay, down, down, up. So right now, see, so when this happens, this is how you test it out. This, now you have to troubleshoot this bitch, okay? So now, like, the stick isn't working. You By pressing up and down, there's no, there's no uh, noise coming out of it, right? Noise, noise. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open it back up and just flip it around real quick and see if it works. Okay, it's reversed. <laughs> it's reversed. So we'll do it again. Okay. Well, there we go. I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. And I figured out one thing. It's upside down. So, <laughs> oh, wow. Good clip, by the way. So, yeah. So if you look at how the stick is, if, I, if I'm pressing up, it's going down. <laughs> that, means, that means it's flipped. So, because it's flipped, that means we gotta fucking flip the bitch again. All right. See, these are these are uh, happy accidents, is what I call it. <laughs> so it's upside down. All right. It happens. It, it happens. I'm telling you, shit. I thought I I thought I figured that shit myself, but it does definitely happens. So we're gonna flip it around again. Okay. <laughs> inverted controls. That's what it was. I told you. Look, technically, he's right. He's right. It's inverted controls. Okay, so easy, so easy. I'm just going to, not really easy, so easy. I'm just gonna unplug it and uh, flip it around. Pretty easy. I don't think I have to worry about taking anything off. There we go. Um, done. Okay, now it's reversed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right, let's take a look. All right, so boom. Gravity buttons installed. Gold lever installed. Uh, let's take a look at the practice mode. They're, they're a little bit more throaty. They're a little bit more throaty. Uh, the tension is definitely much lighter. Uh, I do like it. I do like it. You guys, if you guys can hear it, let's see. Controller setup. Let's check buttons, right? So we're gonna go and use this. Check it up. 
slowly rotate it. The reason why you want to slowly rotate it is to see if it clicks um, at a certain timing that all the switches are working. Just like that, right? Just like that, right? You want to make sure it's all smooth. You want to make sure all the switches are working properly and they're not double jumping. Um, see? Testing to see the jump. Do you see that? See that? See how extra tension? If I, I'm going down and releasing, you guys can hear the tension, but you can also see it shoot up a little bit, right? That's when you know the tension. Oh, right here. Look. See? So I'm out to the left right here. Uh, and I'm I'm holding down back right now on the left side, right? And the switch isn't coming on. So that means the switch has been depressed too long. You see? So the left switch is not working. So I got to open it up and check it out. You can test that on, the, yeah, the Windows configuration, yeah. So it's got to be here. So now I'm going to show you guys what to do. So this is this switch here. It's the down back, right? So it's not triggering for whatever reason. So we're going to take a look to see if there's any reason why it's not triggering. It was triggering fine earlier. Uh, let's see, make sure all my connectors are working. Uh, make sure all the connectors are not pinched. Uh, I put these down here. It seems fine. Oh, this was a little loose right here. See, this one's a little loose. So if you have pliers, use little need a nose pliers here. You want to just see it's kind of loose. You want to give it a little, little squeeze. Just tighten those up a little bit. There you go. They're not loose in it as much anymore. Yeah, just basically just make sure that none of these are crimped. Okay. Okay, should work now, let's take a look. Okay, yeah, it's working now. Cool, let me go back. Yep, so it's working now, see, there it is. Cool. Anyways, uh, happy new year. Uh, I'll try to catch you on later on this week, okay guys? Okay, uh, I'll see you guys next time, all right? See you guys.